Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in your power to act. Proverbs 3.27 The Ripple Effect of Kindness, A Market Employee's Unexpected Journey Emily, a young market employee, could never have predicted that her simple act of helping an elderly man with his shopping would cost her job. Known for her kindness and willingness to help others, Emily always went the extra mile for her customer. One day, while working at the checkout, she noticed an elderly man struggling to carry his groceries. The man looked frail and lost among the busy aisles. Feeling compassion, Emily momentarily left her post to help him, guiding him through the market and carrying his bags to the checkout. Little did she know, this simple action would have unexpected consequences. Just a few minutes later, her supervisor, Alex, approached her with a severe expression. This is not allowed here, he said, his voice cold. Before she could explain, he fired her on the spot. Emily left the market, heart heavy, and sat in the parking lot trying to process what had happened. Her hands trembled as she wiped away tears, feeling unjustly treated and powerless. However, she didn't know that her act of kindness would not go unnoticed. Welcome to our channel. Get ready for another story that will change your perspective on the world. This story became known worldwide, and you might be shocked by what you're about to hear. So eliminate all distractions and stay until the end of this video. Before we continue, leave your comment below. Kindness always finds a way of compassion and mercy. Emily, a 25-year-old hardworking and always willing to help, started working at the market right after finishing high school, hoping to save money to one day attend nursing school. Known by all the customers and colleagues for her friendliness and helpfulness, Emily was the kind of person who lit up any environment with her smile. Her daily life at the market was full of challenges, from organizing shelves to dealing with difficult customers. But she always faced everything with patience and dedication. Despite the modest salary, Emily valued her job and strived to do her best. The market where Emily worked was a bustling place, always full of people from the local community. It was a medium-sized market but very popular for its good deals and fresh products. The aisles were narrow and the shelves were high, often making it difficult for elderly or less mobile customers to access items. The owner of the market, Mr. Jackson, was a rigid businessman focused on maintaining efficiency and profit above all. The supervisor, Alex, followed this philosophy to the letter, often forgetting that people, not just numbers, work th for them, any deviation from established rules was seen as a threat to the order and productivity of the market. That fateful day, the usually hectic market environment was particularly intense. However, Emily continued to work with the same dedication as always, unaware that a simple altruistic action would trigger a series of events that would change her life. While Emily was at the checkout, an elderly man entered the market. He walked slowly with a cane, and his lost look revealed his difficulty in finding what he needed. His steps were slow and hesitant, and he seemed to struggle to carry the basket, few items he had managed to pick up. Emily immediately noticed the elderly man's difficulty. He was standing in the aisle, trying to reach a can of soup on the highest shelf. Without thinking twice, Emily left her post at the checkout and went to help him. Let me get that for you, she said with a warm smile. The elderly man smiled gratefully his eyes shining with relief. Emily didn't stop at getting the can of soup. She began accompanying the elderly man throughout the market, helping him find the items on his list and carrying the basket for him. At every step, the elderly man thanked her, telling little stories of his youth and how he used to do the shopping with his wife, who was no longer with him. For Emily, helping the elderly man was natural. She always believed that kindness and compassion should guide her actions. And at that moment, she felt she was doing the right thing. When they finished shopping, she accompanied him to the checkout and then to the market door, making sure he was okay and could get home without any problems. However, this altruistic action did not go unnoticed by the supervisor, Alex. As soon as she returned to the checkout, he approached her with a severe expression. You know you can't leave your post like that, said his voice harsh and cold. Emily tried to explain, but he was adamant. This is a business, not a charity. You're fired. 
Emily's colleagues were shocked to see the supervisor fire her so abruptly. Many of them knew that Emily always helped customers and that her dedication to her work was unquestionable. Murmurs of discontent quickly spread among the employees. Some tried to intercede, but Alex was resolute and inflexible in his decision. This isn't fair, murmured Grace, one of the cashiers who worked next to Emily. She was just trying to help. Other employees silently agreed, but the fear of reprisals prevented them from speaking out openly. Emily, feeling desolate, gathered her things and headed for the market exit, her heart heavy and her eyes full of tears. In the parking lot, as Emily walked away from the market, the supervisor, Alex, went to her one last time, reaffirming his decision coldly. This serves as a lesson for you and everyone else, he said. Here we follow rules. Helping customers is one thing. Leaving your post is something completely different. Emily, her voice trembling, tried to defend her action. He needed help. There was no one else around. I just did what anyone would have done. Alex remained unmoved. You made a wrong choice, Emily. Now pay the price for it. As Alex walked away, Emily stood still for a moment, feeling completely unjustly treated and directionless. She looked around, seeing customers entering and leaving the market, all unaware of what had just happened. She sat on a nearby bench, trying to process how quickly her life had changed. While Emily helped the elderly man, she knew she could face problems for leaving her post. But her compassion spoke louder. She decided it was more important to help the gentleman at that moment of need. The elderly man, whose name was Mr. Davis, struggled to carry his groceries, and Emily couldn't ignore his difficulty. She guided him through the aisles, helping him pick up the items he needed and carrying his bags. Thank you, my dear, said Mr. Davis with a sincere smile. My wife always did the shopping. Now I'm alone. His words deeply touched Emily's heart. She tried even harder to ensure he had everything he needed. Emily didn't just help him pick up items from the highest shelves, but also helped him choose the freshest products and compare prices so he could save money. When they got to the checkout, Emily helped ring up the groceries and bagged the items, ensuring the heavier ones were in separate bags to make them easier to carry. She then walked him to the market door, where he thanked her again. You have a heart of gold, Emily. I will never forget your kindness. Emily left the market, still in shock. Her hands trembled as she held her bag and apron. She walked to the parking lot, feeling the tears streaming down her face. The weight of the injustice was overwhelming. She had always been an exemplary employee, dedicated and caring. And now, for an act of kindness, she was unemployed. She sat on a nearby bench, trying to gather herself. Her phone buzzed with messages of support from some colleagues, but it did little to ease the pain she felt. She looked up at the sky, seeking strength, and wondered how she would explain to her family what had happened. Her job at the market was crucial in helping with household expenses and saving for her dream of studying nursing. As she wiped away the tears, she saw a familiar figure approaching. It was Mr. Davis, with his slow but determined steps. My dear, what happened? I saw you leave crying, he asked, the concern evident on his face. Emily tried to smile, but the pain was evident. I was fired, Mr. Davis, for leaving my post to help you. My supervisor thought I was breaking the rules. Mr. Davis's eyes filled with sadness and indignation. This is absurd. You were just doing a good deed. How can they be so cruel? Emily shook her head, trying to keep her composure. I don't know, Mr. Davis, but now I have to find another job. Mr. Davis, moved by Emily's situation, promised to do something about it. You will hear from me soon, Emily. This isn't over. Emily thanked him, but had little hope that anything would change. She watched as he walked away, still feeling the weight of injustice and uncertainty about the future. Little did Emily know that Mr. Davis was not just an ordinary customer. He was a well-known lawyer in the city, tired, but with many influential connections. Determined to right the wrong done to Emily, he decided to use his influence to help her. He contacted local journalists and told them Emily's story, emphasizing her kindness and unjust dismissal. The story quickly spread, gaining traction on social media and the local news. Soon, Emily's story reached the ears of people from all over the city. Meanwhile, Emily tried to move on. She started looking for other jobs, but the pain of injustice still weighed on her. Every day, she wondered if she had done the right thing. 
But seeing the support she received from strangers online and in person gave her a glimmer of hope. One afternoon, while Emily was at home preparing her resume, she received a call. It was from Mr. Jackson, the market owner. Emily, I would like to talk to you, he said in a calm but firm voice. Can you come to the market? Emily hesitated but agreed. She went to the market, still uncertain about what to expect. When she arrived, Mr. Jackson was waiting with a serious expression. Emily, I heard your story and saw the repercussions it had. I reviewed your record, and it's clear you were an exemplary employee. We made a mistake by firing you. Emily felt her heart racing. Mr. Jackson continued, I apologize for what happened. If you're willing, we would like to offer you your job back, with better conditions and more flexibility so you can help customers as you see fit. Emily felt a mix of emotions. Relief, joy, and a sense of justice finally being served. She accepted the offer, feeling that her act of kindness had not been in vain. She thanked Mr. Jackson and returned to her position at the market, where she was warmly welcomed by her colleagues and customers. The story of Emily and Mr. Davis spread even further, inspiring many others to act with kindness and compassion. Emily became a symbol of how small acts of goodness and changed the world and her dream of becoming a nurse seemed closer than ever. Life lesson. The power of kindness should never be underestimated. Even when it seems that doing good might lead to adverse outcomes, the ripple effect of compassionate actions can lead to unexpected and positive changes. Always act with compassion and integrity. For in the end, kindness has its way of coming back to us.